trying to do on top as well, all right? Like, we just look the bottom position. I want you guys to see that there's a top position that we play too. Okay, so if I'm on the bottom position, or if I'm on the top position, one of the things I need to be most mindful of is my partner bringing me forward. Okay, if Klaus gets that grip, it's him bringing me down, it's allowing him to sit this choke up, right? I don't want to put myself in that position as we all just learned. It's very hard to get out of once your posture has been broken and you're down in the choke. So I want to shut that down before that even happens, right? And the battle that's taking place right now is over the space between our chests. Okay, I want to stop him from bringing me into that space. Okay, like I could sit up tall, but if he pulls with his legs, he's always going to pull me forward, right? If I'm up too tall and he pulls with his legs, I'm always going to fall over. So what I need to do, again, is control that space, that middle ground. So I'm going to use my hands to do that, okay? So I'm going to grab his knee and I'm going to push down into his chest. So now when he pulls, he can't break my posture anymore, right? The other thing that's helping me have good posture is my weight's over my hips and my knees are open to 45 degree angles, okay? Because he might try to pull me to the right, I can base with my hand to stay up. He pulls me to the left, I can base with my hand to stay up. All in the meantime, if I can keep that control on the chest, it's gonna help me try to pull me again. Good, pull me that way. Yeah, how about this way? That, that grip on the chest is gonna help me keep that space so it can't throw me off balance, right? I want you to think, in jujitsu, if I'm in balance, I'm strong. If I'm out of balance, I'm weak, okay? Next tricky thing is getting around these legs, right? I can push on Klaus's legs all I want, but his hips are stronger than my hand every time, you know? You can do weird things like this and like dig your elbows in, but that's just gonna upset Klaus and then I'm really gonna be in trouble. Okay, <laughs> so what I wanna do instead is use a, a bigger, more compound muscles, right? I'm gonna use my back, yeah. okay? So if I can start rolling my back out, make a wedge with my knee, I can do that cat stretch just like in yoga and pop that guard open. Now I can start looking to come around his legs and look to pin him down. Okay, so what, what happened there? I kept good, good balance, right, good posture. I controlled his chest to control that middle space. Okay, from here I created a wedge. The wedge is my knee. I'm sliding that underneath Klaus's butt. Okay, now with that wedge I can use my back to pry that lock open. Okay, now I'm just gonna push his left leg down circle towards that leg on my feet and land on Klaus to hold him down. Okay, once I'm past the legs, all those submissions, all those sweeps are gone, at least the most threatening ones. So if we can get around the legs, we're gonna be in a much safer place. So one more time, control the middle space, make sure you're in good base, create a wedge with your knee, lean back to open the guard, push the knee down, circle to pass. Okay? I know it's a lot of stuff, but I'll come around to help. Let's try it. One, two.